Det er alt for stille på vår side. Skal vi komme over? Jeg fikk øy på en nå. Over. Klokka tolv rett forut. Hello and welcome back to another video, part 3. Now we are the defenders, so we won't be moving a lot. And um, here we are trying to hold our position. We didn't move away from this position. We were very defensive on this position. We thought that uh, this were going to be a heavy attack place, but we was kind of wrong. They are attacked on the roadside, and we were standing there for a long time without much of action. But anyway, uh, so we will just be here, standing, talking to one another. And basically find up jokes. This moment I spotted an enemy that is actually moving downside here. I believe it took about 15 minutes before, or 10, 5, 15 minutes before I arrived that area to try to go around us. None of us has the range to shoot that far, so we didn't want to waste our um, bullets that one direction, so. We just stand by, see if they will get closer to us so we can take them in range. We could have done differently, uh, moving different position and follow them up uh, differently as well and holding up, but we chose to stand by and not even move. That's probably a mistake what we did there, but it is how it is. We thought we had a really good position behind the rock there. It was uh, actually a very good defense. It's a uh, good uh, defense for uh, uh, recovering your teammate, or reviving your teammate while under fire. So it's you always on cover, but you're open on the sides if they manage to attack on the sides. So it's not very. Uh, a good position if you get uh, ambushed but in frontal attack we are in good position as defenders, we are basically talking to one another close by and on the radio just to notify that uh, enemies are nearby and enemies are probably firing up to our flag, probably spotted some of our allies and so notified them. So yeah, we are holding our ground, uh, we should probably move. We chose to stay because we trusted our teammates uh, up the hill to hold ground uh, as our cover on if ambushed. over. At this moment I don't even remember if they still was up there, I don't know. Uh, I saw further in the video I saw three or four uh, <laughs> uh, enemies actually walk up uh, the hill on my side where I'm looking at. And uh, we got pinned by uh, MG shooter that actually hold us back. It will happen during the later in this video.
Mà nó cholesterol nó trượt Low bow what? I love about this again. So here you can basically see that how defenders are, uh, not much will happen. You are basically waiting for attackers to arrive. And this is where uh, my radio <laughs> is in low battery. Det er det som blir radiomannen som er i hvert fall, hvis min dør ut. Distraksjon, vet du. Jeg misser samtaler. Tommy går på veien. Batteren mitt begynner å gå til å få strøm, så da er jeg bare med en annen som har radio. Jeg hørte ikke sist. Da er den tom. Bare nevn noe om at jeg er tom for strøm. Nå har vi bare en radio oss borte hos meg nå. I denne serien, jeg hadde ikke noe mer radio. It was all empty, so I had to be informative to my teammate that has radio, or be a good spotter for him, so he can advance uh, the uh, information further to our teammates. Tommy trenger hjelp, men vi kan ikke si hva, da. Now it's starting to be a little bit hectic on our side. Uh, people are trying to change their strategy. So missions is now firing. Fire, fire, fire. This moment, uh, it went all silent for a few minutes. Then we had a heavy firefight afterwards. It was brutal, really brutal. Oh, 
This is the last part of my uh, video of this uh, day uh, because camera died yeah, out in the last yeah. part. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. It was a lot of epicness that happened in, in part four. I usually sit uh, behind with the back so I'm not seeing the uh, enemy, the my opposer because I don't want to know where they are uh, if when I get re revived and uh, back to action so I don't want to be knowing and use that as an advantage I just want to be clean in my head and just go with the flow. So I just keep uh, my eyes where my flag is and that's the direction I'm basically looking at and looking to my sides but not back where we getting fire at because I don't want to spot him I don't want to give his position away because people can actually notice that if uh, you're doing airsoft. Here I had a little bit issue to put uh, the orange uh, death rag back in my bag, so I had to <laughs> use a little bit of time to get it back in. It was really hard. What on. I don't know why I did that, but I was trying to probably distract our enemy to give their position. Didn't work out. But if I used a hat or something, it probably would have worked. Oh yeah, for the box. Oh, for him. Medic, medic. At this very moment, I have enemy behind me, and they are also running towards the orange flag to plant a bomb. So I'm a bit uh, screwed here. This is basically the end of the video, so everyone, thank you all for the watching. We are basically, I am re basically resting my teammate, and the game is at pause, so we can advance our last objective, so the attackers can attack us. We don't know where and when they will attack, and they don't know where we are defending. So this is uh, the end of the video. And I hope you actually liked it. I hope it was a little bit funny. And I uh, hope 
It was good for you. Again, if you guys want to play with us at Airsoft Consinger, please let me know in the comments below and uh, we can uh, figure something out. So we can uh, play with us. We are a small group. We try to be a bigger group as well, so you're much welcome to join us and test us out, see. see if you like it. Hmm. And uh, yeah. I hope I can see you on the Again. next uh, video. So, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Nice start. Well, I'm going to go to the next one.